Hey everybody, it's Lon Seidman, and we're doing another edition of my App Gems, where I find cool and unique applications that make your life a little bit easier for many different platforms. And today we're going to be looking at something for the Fire TV platform from Amazon. Now you know these devices run Android, but it's Amazon's version of Android, and you often can't get all the Android apps that you might want to because there's no Google Play Store. But uh, there is a way you can download what's called APK files. These are uh, application package files, and then do something called sideloading to get those running on your Fire TV device. And that sounds complicated, and in many ways it kind of is. You have to get multiple apps, you got to get the APK over to your device. A real pain in the butt. But a viewer, his name is Elias Saba, runs a great website called AFTVNews.com. And uh, one of the things that many of his readers were telling him uh, was that they really wanted a way to simplify this process. So Elias went out and just wrote it himself. So he has an app here called Downloader, and we're going to be exploring this app in this video. And there's a new version of it now that integrates a browser. So uh, really cool stuff, very uh, easy way to get these APK files downloaded and sideloaded into your Fire TV be in a single step. Now, I do want to mention in the interest of full disclosure, this app is free, not only to me, but to you and everyone else out there. So you can grab it for free off of the uh, Amazon App Store. All the opinions you're about to hear are my own. Nobody is paying for this review and no one is reviewing this content before it is posted. I do these disclaimers on every one of my videos, so I just wanted to make sure we got it in here as well. So you saw that I booted up the app and the first thing it asks me to do is type in a URL of the file that I want to download. Now, prior versions of Downloader required you to know the exact file name and URL of that APK file. And if it's buried somewhere on a site, it could be really difficult to get to. So what he's done here uh, is added a web browser to the mix. And this browser actually works pretty well just as a web browser on your Fire TV too. So you get uh, kind of a two for one here. So what I'm going to do is just try to download a uh, current version of Kodi. So I'm going to go over to the Kodi website at Kodi.tv. And I did try to get my uh, keyboard trackpad combo to pair up via Bluetooth to this device, but it didn't like it. So I am uh, using my remote, but that's one of the limitations of the Fire Stick, I think. So uh, here we go. We're going to that address, and it didn't find an APK file, but now it's giving me the option to open it up in a browser. And you can see here we are now getting a uh, full version of the Kodi website available to us. And I can just navigate uh, over to Downloads here and find the APK file that I want to get to. So I'm just going to scroll down a little bit and go to the current release version. And I've got uh, Windows and Mac, and I've got Kodi, or Android over here. So I'm going to go uh, down one more notch here. It does get a little clunky sometimes with the remote, but uh, not too bad to navigate. Now on this particular Fire Stick, I know that this, this does not support uh, any of the fancy 64-bit stuff. So I'm going to click on the ARM version. If you have one of the newer Fire TVs, I believe it is the 64-bit version. And if you're confused about which one to get, uh, just try the, the the 64-bit version first, especially if you have the new uh, Fire TV 2. But if it doesn't work, just go to the 32-bit version. There's really nothing you can do, I don't think, to break your uh, device here. Uh, so I'm going to click on ARM, and now it's going to download uh, the 87 megabyte file here. So we're going to let this download real quick. My internet connection is a little spotty this evening. And uh, when it's done, I'll show you what happens next. OK, so we're almost to the end of the download process here. And uh, when it's done downloading, I currently have the app set to automatically install the APK. So once that download was done, it immediately went to the install process here. I do have to answer a uh, little security permissions thing here to give it access to all the things that it wants. I'm going to click on install now, and uh, Kodi is now installing itself onto my Fire TV stick, all without having to go to the Amazon uh, App Store, and also without having to know the exact file name of the APK on the Kodi website. I was able to browse to it uh, using my remote from my couch, essentially, if I was sitting on my couch, and get this thing going here. So we're going to let this finish installing. Installing, and when it's done, I'll show you where the, oh, there it is, it's already done. So I'm just going to go over here and click done. I could open it right now if I want to, but I do want to show you that it will actually put it into your apps menu here. It also gives you the option here to uh, just leave the file on your device or delete it. I'm going to uh, delete it because I already have it installed, of course. I'm going to back out here to the home menu. I'm just going to go over to my app section here, and you'll see now that uh, we have Kodi here waiting for us to use. Now, don't be alarmed by uh, the low resolution of the icon because as you can see here, the ones that come in from the Amazon App Store have a few different resolutions for their icons, and uh, the one that we just downloaded directly doesn't have that, but it is a legit version of Kodi, as you'll see here. So I'll just tap on it to uh, boot it up here. We're getting the uh, first time load screen, and I uh, can go in and watch all of my movies or whatever else I want to watch with Kodi on here, just like I would if I was on a different Android device. So a much easier way to get all of this stuff up and running. 
Now, I covered Cody performance on the Fire Stick in my full review of it, which I'll link to down below in the video description. But as you can see here, it works just fine. So what I want to do now, though, is just pop back over to uh, the app, the downloader app, to show you some of the settings that uh, you have on there as an option so you can get a feel for uh, some of the things you can configure it to do. So let's just load it back up here again real quick, and uh, we'll drop over to some of the settings. So you can see here how the web browser works, so you can get access to that. Uh, you can navigate with your remote to go into different portions of the app here, and he's got a really nice uh, on-screen instruction page here also to see how everything works. And again, it really does work uh, pretty decently as a uh, go-to web browser. Now, one of the things it does by default is disable JavaScript, but if you're browsing an APK site that requires it, you can go into the settings here and turn that on. Uh, you can also disable the auto install, and you can change the folder in which these APK files are downloaded to uh, when you ask it to download those files. And you can go over here and see what files are currently downloaded to your device. I had downloaded this in a prior take, even though we deleted one of them, uh, there was one in there already. And of course, you can go back here to the browser to uh, browse around the web. Pretty cool stuff. And if you are looking for an easy way to download APK files on your Fire TV, no easier way than this. I do want to just give you a warning that you need to be careful about where you get these files from, because some APK files have malware and other bad things on them. So you really need to trust the source that you're downloading from and just be careful about it, because when you install all those APKs on here, they can uh, do whatever permissions you grant to them in the settings. So just be aware of that, that there are some things that uh, you need to be careful about uh, when you start downloading APKs outside of the App Store. But going to Kodi directly is pretty safe because that is uh, the developer of that application. Now, to make all of this work, you do need to go over to your system menu here, uh, go over to developer options. It's kind of buried here. Uh, and make sure that apps from unknown sources is turned on. Uh, and that will allow those APKs to install. If you don't have that option installed, it will uh, give you some direction within the app as to how to do that. But if you do that first, you don't have to go through those steps after you start downloading something. It's a little bit easier to get all of that done. So that is Downloader from AFTVnews.com, a great website that uh, I frequent quite a bit to find out some of the new things that uh, are coming to the Amazon Fire TV ecosystem. Elias does a great job with that site. And I think he got started from uh, something that he bought from me many years ago because I reviewed the very first Fire TV probably about three or four years ago now, right when it came out. And then as I often do on the channel, after I'm done with something that I'm not going to use, I resell it uh, at a discount. And he was the person that bought it. And I think he got his start from the device that I sold him. So that was a, kind of a neat connection as to uh, how he got this site going. But it's a great resource. Definitely check it out. And I really just love the fact that uh, he found the problem and he was able to solve it and really help people out. The app is free, but if you like it and find it useful, uh, you can give him a tip here right inside the app with your Amazon account to uh, thank him for uh, the work that he's doing on the site as well as with the app. And I would love to see him come up with a version of this for the uh, NVIDIA Shield also, because this could be very useful on more than just the Fire TV platform. So that'll do it for our latest edition of App Gems. We'll see you next time with another one. And this is Lon Seibin. Thanks for watching. This channel is brought to you by my Patreon supporters. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash Patreon to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.